making his fiddling headlines again for facing a brutal rejection from the world-famous choir master Gareth Malone. She had hoped for him to play a little choir session for her son Archie's birthday, but the odds were not in her favor. It might seem a bit harsh on the surface, and without a doubt canceling a four-year-old's birthday party may look cruel, but the real reason for why she got canceled will shock you further, so stay tuned. In celebration of the crowning of King Charles III, a specially formed coronation choir was set to sing at Windsor Castle in a concert for the new British monarch. The 300-voice strong coronation choir was to perform at the high-profile coronation concert, which took place on Sunday the 7th of May on the East Lawn of the Royal Residence. Now, the famous choir led by Gareth Malone was joined by celebrity coaches Amanda Holden, Matsi Mabuse and actress Rose Aileen Ellis to prepare the Coronation Choir for the Coronation Concert, which took place at Windsor Castle on the 7th of May. Gareth Malone came to the public's attention in 2006 and 2007 when his TV series The Choir first hit our screens. It showed him teaching choral singing to the pupils at North Holt High School, many of whom were new to singing, let alone in a choir. It follows their trials, tribulations, and celebrations as they became swept up in Gareth's enthusiasm. His latest television program, Sing for the King, The Search for the Coronation Choir, is also aired on BBC One on the 5th of May. The documentary follows the ensemble's formation and rehearsals. At the start of this year, a search began to find the keenest community and amateur choirs around the UK who would form the basis of this new Coronation Choir. The result is an ensemble made up of refugee choirs, NHS choirs, and deaf singing choirs who have been coached by choir master Gareth Malone in preparation for their high-profile performance. In an interview, Gareth Malone said the ladies from Just Sing, a choir led by him, consisting of women from ages 18 to 80, have an energy and resilience born out of the struggles of their community. Based in Portadown, Northern Ireland, Just Sing Ladies is a community choir open to all residents of the local and surrounding community. It's true that Gareth Malone and Maggie Markle have had some interactions and shared involvement in certain projects in their early days. Gareth Malone, as mentioned earlier, is a British choir master, while Maggie Markle was an American actress at the time. In 2016, Gareth Malone collaborated with Maggie Markle on a television program called Gary Barlow's Sing, which was a part of the Queen's 90th birthday celebrations. The show aimed to bring together a choir of talented individuals from across the United Kingdom to perform at a special concert for the Queen. Gareth Malone was responsible for training and leading the choir, while Meghan Markle took part in the program as a guest and performer. Now comes the nasty part. Reports point out that Meghan tried to bring Gareth Malone for her four-year-old's birthday party, apparently to foreshadow the coronation. Well, for Gareth, it was a no-brainer. A choir at a four-year-old's birthday party and a choice of that or the king's coronation? So, he refused. Of course he did, who wouldn't? Well, when he refused, Megan tried to threaten him with her duchess title. Isn't this sheer madness? She doesn't want the royal duties but wants to use royal privileges as she pleases. The face of pure hypocrisy. Having a birthday without dad there on the day is not out of the ordinary for a little boy, but for Megan to throw a coronation interrupting worthy birthday party without the dad? That screams selfish on her part. Seems like her ego has no bound. And the newly crowned king has reportedly raised the toast to his exiled grandson Prince Archie to wish him a happy fourth birthday wherever he was. Charles made the poignant tribute at a private family gathering on Coronation Day Saturday, after Harry had already dashed home to California to celebrate Archie's birthday or to avoid the booze from the crowd. Who knows? Harry had been invited to the family lunch, and his 74-year-old dad, the king, seemed genuinely quite disappointed that he didn't stay. Everyone knows you can't overshadow a coronation with whatever you have in hand. Then what was Megan trying to do? Was she trying to make a statement? What do you think? Let us know in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and click that notification bell so you wouldn't miss another update.